My brother has challenged me to a noob versus pro volcano house battle in Minecraft. Can I build the most epic volcano house ever? And let's find out what my brother is hiding inside his secret bunker. Okay, Chip, we have 20 minutes to build the most epic volcano house and hide something secret inside. And at the end of the 20 minutes, we have to try and find the secret item inside each other's volcano house. Correct! My hidden item is so insane that Milo is going to lose his mind. But first, we are going to need to use World Edit to make a very big sphere. Whoa, I'm totally stuck inside. Let's mine our way out of here. Whoa, this is a really, really big sphere. Perfect, this is a good foundation for the volcano, but I still think it needs to be bigger. Whoa, that is definitely big enough. Now we can use our amazing brush to make this volcano look a lot more like a real one. This volcano needs to have a perfect shape, so let's do this all the way around. Chip, what the? What are you doing over there? That looks insane. Yeah, Milo, my volcano is going to be insane. It looks like a giant dome sphere at the moment, but I'm actually going to use a bunch of world edit commands to make it really, really big and really awesome. No kidding. Okay, this is looking pretty good, but now we just need to make it really, really tall at the top. We also need to give it sort of a hole in the middle. That is what every single real volcano has, and it's actually where the lava comes out. This is looking really silly at the moment, but my next weld edit command will make it all make sense. This may look like a carrot on a stick, but this brush is actually going to smooth out the entire build. Oh yeah, this is really all starting to come together. Once I have smoothed out this entire thing, it will really look like a giant volcano. I'm so excited especially for when we add the super hot lava to this thing. Oh yeah, that's really going to make it explode. The lava is going to flow down the sides and it's even going to flow down the specially carved out channels we've made for it. That's what all these other little big pieces of stone are for. It might look silly, but when the lava goes running down the sides, it will look so epic. We've also almost finished smoothing this whole thing. Once we finish this top, we can finally add in the lava, but I don't want to add the lava the old boring way. No, that would totally suck. We need to use a brand new way of adding in the lava. Lava TNT! This lava TNT is going to be absolutely insane. I think we need to put it right in the middle of my volcano here. It looks like normal TNT, but if I put a real TNT next to it, you can totally see the difference. This one is more orange, just like me. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Let's light it up and see what this really can do. Okay, it's igniting. I think we need to go far away. This could be a big explosion. I have no idea what a lava TNT could do. Whoa, look, it actually summoned lava going down the outside. This is pretty cool, but I think we need to ignite a couple more. Let's make a whole tower of lava TNTs. This is so exciting. Once this all starts running down the edge of this volcano, it will look absolutely incredible. Whoa, look at all the lava. This is insane. It is now officially flowing down the outside of my volcano. Milo, look, my volcano is officially erupting. Ah, Chip, how did you make it? Well, I just used some amazing skills that I have. It's pretty awesome though, right, Milo? That looks really cool. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Yeah, I would be pretty nervous too. This eruption is massive and the lava is only going to continue to flow. Now that we've made the outside of our volcano base so incredible, we've got to make the inside too. It's going to be pretty difficult to get inside and the entrance will actually be a secret. I do not think Milo will be able to find this one easily at all. We'll need to make a huge area up here and I think this is exactly how big I wanted it to be. In order for this area to work, we need to use some serious weld edit. If I type stack 50, it will dig a huge tunnel all the way down. Whoa, this is so cool. Now it is time for the next step. We need to replace a bunch of these blocks with acacia signs. Normally this would take a while, but luckily I can use weld edit on these too. If I stack these seven blocks in this direction, it should perfectly cover the hole. Now if we break all the quartz on the outside here, the lava will start flowing over. This might seem like a bad thing, but it's actually exactly what we want. Milo is going to need to jump down here after all, at least if he wants to complete my volcano base, so it needs to be possible for him to enter. It's not going to be very easy though. If Milo actually wants to get inside this thing, he will need to jump into the lava. Normally, jumping into lava would be a total death sentence, but in here, the lava is actually helped by a little block of water underneath. This will keep Milo safe from burning, but it still will not keep him safe from the dropper that's going to come afterwards. This is not going to be an easy volcano house. That would be insane. This is a pro volcano house, so it needs to be very difficult to enter. Only 
the most pro players will be able to reach the end of this, and I do not think Milo is one of those. The best part about this is once we place down all this lava, it will actually be impossible to see that there's an entrance underneath it. It'll look totally like a normal volcano crater. Milo will have no idea that this is the secret way to go inside. Look, it's totally invisible. It's perfect, but if you jump right on through, boom, you instantly get cooled off by the water and sent down a giant tunnel. I think we need to make it a little bit deeper though, and that's what our dynamite is going to be for. Whoa, look at that. This is really clearing out a huge area. Let's keep going as far down as we can possibly go. This is going to be an insanely difficult dropper. If Milo wants to beat it, he'll need to go through so many different parts. And of course, as a pro, it is our job to make those parts as difficult as we possibly can. Just look at how deep it's going. Oh yeah, I really like this. I think this is a pretty good level of height. Now, if we use our awesome world edit skills, we can stack this all the way to the bottom. Now we just need to set this to the block we're holding. Perfect. And we can add some water down the bottom here. Normally, I would make my dropper a little bit harder and not have the whole floor be water. But this dropper is going to have such difficult obstacles, it kind of needs a full water floor. Otherwise, it is impossible to complete. The first step in any dropper is to have some very dangerous obstacles. I think there's nothing more dangerous than lava pockets on the sides. Oh yeah, this is so cool, but it's not very interesting. The lava doesn't move at all. I think we totally need some moving platforms, or maybe even something that could push Milo into the lava. Oh, I have a perfect idea. On one side, we will need to place a bunch of obsidian, just like this. It needs to reach all the way to the very end, and there needs to be some lava in here too. I actually think we don't need to block the lava off. It will not flow all the way down, because it can't flow that far. It will only flow to the end of the platform like this. Oh, this is looking so cool, but that's not all I want to add. In the walls, we are going to place a bunch of fans. These fans are going to blow Milo towards the lava. It will be very difficult for him to resist their wind forces. Whoa, actually, they don't push very far at the moment. Let's make each of them spin very, very quickly. This way, they will blow Milo so quickly towards the lava, he won't have a chance to stop it. For some of them, we're going to set the blowing speed really, really low. That way, Milo actually has a place he can safely go through. But for the rest of them, we're going to set them insanely high. We can make it even more difficult for Milo to complete this thing by increasing the amount of these machines. Let's just set one of them to blow really, really quickly and then add a bunch of different gears to it. This way, all of the machines can be powered at once. Oh yeah, this is looking so cool. We'll need to do a little bit more than this though. Now that we've added one row of them, it is really important that we add a bunch more. Otherwise, Milo will not be blown by the force of this wind. It'll actually just be really weak. By adding a bunch of them and making all of them spin really, really quickly, we make this as difficult as possible for Milo. We need this to be super duper pro. Otherwise, this won't be a pro volcano house. It'll be a really, really lame one, and I don't want that at all. These ones will still spin really, really slowly, so Milo has a place he can go through. But the ones on the very end here will spin so quickly, it will launch Milo into the lava at the speed of light. Now let's place all of these fans on, and whoa, just look at all the wind coming out of these things. This is crazy. Let's give it a test run. And whoa, that actually pushes Milo right into the lava. He's gonna have to very quickly move to the non-blowing parts if he wants to make it past this thing. This is already insane, and there's so much more we can add. Everybody knows that volcanoes are a type of natural disaster, but everybody always forgets about tornadoes too. That is why inside here, we are going to make a spinning tornado machine of death. If Milo gets caught in this thing, he might never be able to escape. We are going to use these fans to make an endless whirl of wind. This way, Milo will be stuck in there and we'll be able to stop him from beating our volcano house. We just need to make sure that every single one of these is powered to the maximum. Otherwise, it will not be strong enough to keep Milo inside. Milo is a bit of a noob, but he's still able to escape from most things. He wriggles a lot and that's a big part of his strategy. Before we check if this really works, we just need to plug up these holes and maybe add in a few little guardrails right over here. This way, if Milo really does get stuck inside this thing, he will be sent around and around and he won't be able to get out. Whoa, this is really, really tricky. I love this so much. Maybe Milo might be able to get out through the middle, but if he does, he is going to find himself in the launching platform. This launching platform will have a bunch of contraptions on it that will actually throw Milo towards a big lava pit. Let's grab some obsidian so we can actually make this lava pit into reality. Milo is going to need to steer well clear of this thing if he wants to survive this challenge. All right, now we just need to add in the weighted ejectors. Let's set these to spin really, really fast, just like this. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted. I've moved these spinning contraptions over to the side because now 
we can place down these crazy targeting blocks. We'll need to link them into the lava, otherwise they will not know where to go. It will be a really, really big disaster if they don't launch Milo into the lava. Then they would just be a free place for him to land and catch a break from all this. Now, if Milo does manage to escape this wind tunnel, he will be launched right into the lava. That will be so funny, and there won't be very much way for him to escape at all. Before Milo reaches the very bottom, he will have to go through one final very difficult challenge. Okay, we'll need to place a bunch of these spinning contraptions just like this, and we'll need to set them very fast. Next, above them, we'll need to place these mechanical bearings, and we'll need to add different colors of glass. Normally, I would not use glass because it's way too easy, but I have a very secret plan for this. I want all of the glass to look exactly like boiling, bubbling lava. This way, when Milo sees it, he will think that there's lava below him and not really water. We can even add in some black stained glass so that it looks like smoke or like different lava bubbles. Yeah, I have a feeling this is really gonna work or at least look very, very scary to Milo. Now, if we right click this block, it should totally start spinning. Whoa, that's insane. Maybe we'll make it go a little slower so it looks a bit more like realistic lava. Yep, that looks more like it. Now we need to add a bunch more so that it really sells the bubbling effect. I think we'll do one over here and we'll make this one mostly yellow. We might even have a little bit of orange in it, but I want this one to be a lot brighter than the other one. It will also spin pretty far over the side. This is a really, really cool one. Let's super glue all this together and get this one spinning. Okay, the lava bubbling look is really starting to come together, but we need to do a little bit more than just this. We of course need to place more of these glass platforms and we do need to make sure we use different colors and do them in different spots. This way, no matter where Milo tries to land, we'll have it totally covered. Oh yeah, I like this one. Let's get this one spinning too. We're also going to add campfires above each of these little piston blocks. Otherwise, Milo will see the green and know that this is totally not real lava. It will not work to trick him. So by adding in these campfires, we add some smoke and we add some fire. This will really, really trick Milo. Now we just need to add some little small ones like this. It's going to look like a lava bubble that's just about to pop in front of Milo. Yeah, I think that looks just like one. Let's super glue this together too. I don't want it to be falling apart on us. Oh yeah, this is looking so cool. We just have to add one more lava bubble and then this thing is complete. Let's make this lava bubble a little bit darker than the other one. Yep, I think this looks so realistic. Perfect. Now if we just add campfires right over here and another one on this other lava bubble, we should have completed the dropper. Whoa, this dropper looks insane. I do not know if Milo's even going to be able to do this. This is perfect. The volcano is going so good so far. Being at the bottom of this volcano is so annoying. It makes it really difficult to see anything. I even have to go through all these traps I built to get there. Luckily, if we want to check on Milo, there is a much easier way. I actually set up a crazy awesome camera system that we can check on him and his volcano with. Whoa, look, Milo's volcano has lava around it. I guess it totally erupted, but it's still really small and wait a minute. Where is Milo? I actually don't see him at all. This could be bad. Let's check our other cameras and make sure he is not doing something cheeky. Hey, what's Milo doing? I can see him on this camera and wait, is he trying to break his way into my volcano? Milo is cheating. We need to teach Milo a lesson right now. Like this video to spawn in some awesome lava security golems in three, two, one. Hey, look, I think I see something down there. Let's check the cameras to make sure it worked. Whoa, this is totally working. I can't believe it. Milo is being destroyed by my golem security forces. Thanks for helping, guys. You did a great job. I think it is very important that inside our volcano house, we actually have some rooms that you would have inside a normal house. Otherwise, it's just a dangerous volcano obstacle course, and that is not what we're meant to be building. If I dig around five blocks in each direction and add a bunch of smooth stone in like this, we will then be able to use world edit to make this room come to life in an instant. We'll just need to make sure that we place everything right. If we miss a spot, this will not work, and it'll look ridiculous. I do not want my volcano house to look bad. That that would be a disaster and not a natural disaster this time, which is kind of what we want. Volcanoes are very, very cool like that. Now that we've built this out, we just have to stack 10 in this direction and whoa, this looks awesome. Hey, maybe we can even stack 15 and make this really, really big. Oh yeah, this is so cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this wall, but I'm sure we'll think of something soon. For now, this is going to be a really awesome storage room. It will be fire themed and we will have netherrack all the way up the walls. We will need to use flint 
flint and steel for that though, so let's get placing. Oh yeah, this is so cool. We'll need to divide the chests using this so we don't get confused. This way we'll be able to store all of our items really well, just like we would in a normal house. One bonus of building a huge storage area is it might just trick Milo. Normally Milo will not get tempted by a storage area because he won't care what's inside. He just wants his bird seeds and his dirt. But in this storage area, we are going to make it look like there is actually a secret entrance to get the final item that Milo is looking for inside my volcano house. We need to make sure we place netherrack all the way around though. I don't want to miss a spot because this stuff looks so cool. It really adds a fiery aspect to this crazy awesome build. We can even add fake little doors in the walls here. Milo might think there's something behind them and it might set his senses off. He will spend a very long time looking for any secrets that he might be able to find, but he will not be able to find any, at least none of the good secrets anyway. That's because over on this side, we are going to fake Milo out a little bit. We'll have more fire to distract his eyes and make him feel the heat. That way he won't be thinking straight. Instead, he will try and rush in to see what's in all these orange coolers. These actually look a lot like chests, but behind some of them is going to be something that is not very nice for Milo to find. If we dig all the way down, this eventually should lead into the void. We'll need to block off any other gaps though. Otherwise, Milo might be able to escape before it really reaches the void. If we just dig a couple more blocks down, we should eventually hit bedrock and whoa! I do not want to fall into the void. That was a close one. We really do not want to do silly mistakes and die like that. That would be really, really bad. This void pit is for Milo to fall down and nobody else. I really hope Milo actually falls for this. That would really stop him from beating my volcano house. Of course, we can add even more things to totally distract him. Maybe Milo will even think that these barrels are meant to be climbed. He definitely should not be climbing these barrels though, because behind them is just going to be a little jail maze. If Milo walks through this thing and goes to the other side, it will look like he's in jail and he will be really, really mad. I think we can even add loads of these fake secrets into this house. That way, when Milo tries to go through it, he will waste so much time and it'll really punish him for cheating. Milo is definitely going to regret trying to cheat against me, but hmm, there is still a totally blank wall at the end here. I have no idea what we could even place here. Ooh, wait a minute. I know. If you want to make a fake secret behind me, subscribe to this channel in three, two, one. Whoa, this totally worked. Hey, look, you guys did an amazing job. This is like a TV living room. Oh, Milo will definitely think this is real. But wait, behind the TV is a fake would you rather section. Milo will have to pick between each of these different answers. If he picks the wrong one, he will fall down and not be able to continue. Every wrong answer actually has a trap underneath it, but it doesn't work on me because this is my volcano after all. That way, this stays a secret until Milo actually goes through it and tries to pick the wrong answer. At the very end, there is a chest that says, ha ha, got you, Milo. We are totally going to win this thing. Milo is going to hate this fake room. Because this is the fake area, we need to trick Milo to thinking he needs to go in here first. Yep, perfect. Milo will definitely read this sign and try to find his way through this part of the volcano house. Little does he know that the real way will actually be on the other side. We're going to have everything real on this side, like a big master bedroom and even a bunch of hallways that Milo will have to beat challenges to go through. The first thing we need to build is the master bedroom and in order to do that we need to make this place look really really cool we are going to add spruce planks as the floor and stone bricks as the walls this way it looks like there is a castle inside my volcano how's that for an awesome volcano house we need to make sure we dig all the blocks right to the top this way we can use weld edit to make the room really really big in a split second whoa yep this is definitely as big as i wanted it to be now let's make this wall into a stone brick wall let's just set it to hand and boom Oh yeah, this is really awesome. Now we can actually start putting the furniture inside this thing. Let's start by making a really big acacia bed on this back wall right over here. Oh yeah, this is looking awesome. But if we're going to be sleeping in a volcano, we need a little bit of a cover over our heads. That way, in case there's an earthquake or lava gets in here, we'll be a little bit more safe. Next to our beds, we are going to place some lava proof chests. These coolers do not let any heat inside. So if lava gets in here, all our items will be totally safe. We'll also need a couple tables 
tables with some candles inside. Candles are the best type of lighting to use inside a volcano. They are powered by fire, so it just looks awesome. Next, we will even add some orange sofas on either side of the walls. Oh, wow, we can have so many of these things. Yep, this is definitely looking really cool. It's like a sitting area in my bedroom. Now, let's add some little tables next to each of the couches and add some lamps. We need to make sure we remember to turn them on. Otherwise, it will be really dark in here, and that would suck. Over on this side, I'm going to give myself a nice little table where I can do whatever I want on it. Maybe I can play some board games, or maybe I can admire the awesome curtains. These actually have a view into nothing, but I still think they look really cool. We can place them all along this wall. That way, it looks like we have windows. Even though we're underground in a volcano, there's no room for windows here. Instead of windows, we are going to add iron bars, and behind them, we can even add flowing lava. We'll need to place the iron bars quickly before the lava reaches the bottom. Otherwise, it would totally spill everywhere. This way, it looks like we are looking out into the lava flow of a real volcano. This is a pretty powerful volcano, but I never thought we'd add this. This is so awesome. I'm so excited to see Milo's reaction to this. This final lava window is not going to be like the other ones. This will actually be a secret entrance into the next part of my base. All right, we need to make sure we add the lava here, but it's not going to be regular lava. If you look closely, this lava bucket is a fake lava bucket. See, normal lava would actually burn you, but this lava will not burn at all. It gives you fire resistance when you try to walk through it. Milo will be very, very thankful, although he will probably not realize it at first. I really hope it's enough to trick him into not going in there. We'll need to make this room really distracting and colorful. That way, Milo won't even want to go inside. And one way we're going to do that is by adding orange carpet all the way around. We can add a couple different ones. That way, it has a really nice design that'll take Milo's eyes off the walls and onto the carpets. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty cool, but I think we can make it a little bit nicer. Let's add some orange carpets in front of the secret lava zone. Yep, this looks so cool. It even looks like the floor is made out of some kind of crazy orange cobblestone. It's pretty awesome if you ask me. One thing we definitely cannot forget is a bunch of bookshelves. We can even cover them in orange candles like this. Wow, this looks like such a cool volcano lava house. I would definitely want to live here if I had the chance. Let's just add one final bookshelf over here to really distract Milo. This one can also be really tall and wait, it's on fire. Hey, this actually looks kind of cool. I guess it's a realistic part of a volcano lava house. Maybe this final bookshelf can be on fire. That will distract Milo. Actually, maybe all the bookshelves can be on fire. Having candles inside a volcano house seems pretty dangerous. And if we make the bookshelves on fire, it's probably going to distract Milo. Hey, come to think of it, we could actually set this whole roof on fire. Maybe if we make the edge of the roof burning, Milo will be really terrified of it. And he won't take the time to look around to find any secrets. Oh, yep, this is a great idea. I can't believe we didn't think of this before. Now, when Milo goes through this piece of fake lava, he will reach the other side. And over here, we need to make a spiral staircase. We need to place some slabs down. Otherwise, the fake lava would flow through the entire house and it would be impossible to go anywhere in this thing. Now, we need to dig a big open area and make a huge spiral staircase. This will go even further down. One thing about volcanoes is they go pretty deep underground. And if we make our volcano house as deep as a real volcano, it will get hotter and hotter and more difficult the further Milo goes along. This is all just part of my plan to make this the most difficult volcano house Milo will ever have to go through in his life. I really hope it takes him a while to find the treasure we've put at the end. That way, Milo will not find our secret and we will totally win this thing. The treasure at the end is very, very precious to Milo. He is going to be so mad when he realizes I have it. By the time he reaches the end though, he is going to be so tired out from this volcano house, he probably won't even care. He'll just run home crying and never want to face me in a build challenge again. That is so funny to think about. But for now, we need to think about making this crazy spiral staircase. I think I know exactly how I want to do it. Now that the staircase goes really far down, we actually have to place the stairs inside. Otherwise, this would not be a staircase. This would just be a giant pit. And I don't think that's actually possible to get down. I still need to be able to get around this volcano house. Otherwise, it won't really be a house at all. It would just be a death chamber. And that is not what I am building right now. The only person this will be a death chamber for will be Milo himself. I do not know if he will be able to make it through this thing, especially with all the difficult traps I plan on putting at the end of this staircase. The first difficult trap, of course, is going to be a crazy parkour. We need to dig out the most giant section of an underground world that we have ever dug out before. This parkour is going to be insane and it is going to be massive. Yep, this is perfect. This is so big. And at the very end, Milo will have to reach a pretty far away goal. Oh, it's another mineshaft. This is kind of crazy. 
maybe the mineshaft can officially be part of the parkour. Once Milo beats this, he'll have to run through to it, but I'm not going to do that just yet. First, we need to make this parkour, and we need to make it pretty difficult. The way we are going to make this super duper crazy is by adding a bunch of lasers. Not just any lasers though, these are going to be lava lasers. We need to dye them bright red if we want to have that really cool lava color. I think this is looking pretty awesome, but we'll do one more round of dyeing to get the deepest red possible, and oh yeah, this is so red. Now, if we place lasers all the way on the bottom here and fill it with these colored lenses, okay, we should be able to copy that and place them all along. Now, every single laser that connects to this will be a bright red color. Oh yeah, that looks insane. I'm really, really happy with this. Let's place these lasers all the way along. They can even line the entire outside of this build. Oh yeah, once we get these lasers all the way around this room, it will be an official laser parkour. These lasers automatically link up with the one closest to them, so we'll need to make sure we do not place them in any silly ways. Otherwise, we won't be able to place them all down. Whoa, this is looking so cool on this side. We just need to complete this side over here. Come on, we can totally do this. I know we can. Now we just need to place these final laser blocks and boom, we've officially done it. We can even destroy the ones right at the end here. Hey, this is meant to be a red laser, not a white one. There we go. That is way better. We can even break the ones on this end too. This way, they will all be the same red color and we get as many lasers as possible. Now, if we simply place a bunch of lasers all the way going up here, this officially becomes a laser parkour death trap. Oh yeah, this is so amazing. I do not think Milo will be able to make his way through these things. Let's make the start of this parkour out of trapdoor blocks. Milo can't jump too high, otherwise his head will hit the lasers. That is why it is very important that he is super sneaky on this parkour. Once he goes past these trapdoors, he will actually need to go on these glass ones. These are like the ones from before, but Milo will have to sneak across them. If he does not manage to get across sneakily, he'll fall off and land in the lasers. They are also see-through, so it is very hard to see where you're going. Once Milo makes it to the end, he will have to do a two block jump and then he will have to continue going up the trap doors just like this to the second level. Milo is going to need to run across this entire level if he wants to make it to the next stage. I do not think Milo is going to be able to do that. He will really, really find it difficult. We can even add iron bars so he can't just run through into the next section. He's going to have to work very hard to make it. On this level, Milo will need to jump across different ice blocks to make it to where he needs to go. We're gonna block him off using these iron bars though, otherwise he could just run across the sides and make it right over to the end without even trying. That would be cheating and I don't want him to cheat like that. One thing he will be able to do though is to jump over onto these side blocks, otherwise it would be literally impossible to beat this thing. Because this room is only two blocks high, Milo won't be able to jump from one ice block to the other. He will need to jump over to the sides, otherwise he just won't make it through. I've actually removed a chunk of the lasers here and put an iron and buff fence instead. This way, Milo is actually able to get through to the next section. It is very important that he can get through here, not because I want him to win, but because the things we're about to add in this final stretch of laser parkour are going to be insane. Down here, Milo will have to boat across the lasers. He won't have to go in any of these boats though, because if he does, he'll immediately get zapped. Instead, Milo will need to ride his boat across the tops of these other ones. It's going to be very difficult for him, and I don't even think he'll be able to do it. If Milo fails at this, he will not be able to go through into the final room, and if he does not do that, then he won't make it past my volcano house. Honestly, that would be kind of funny. If Milo didn't make it, then we would win. Oh yeah, now I want to make the final room as difficult as possible, but I'm not sure what to put in there. Luckily, I have a solution to this problem. Let's just place one more boat on top here, and it'll fall down. This is the boat that Milo has to ride across to the other side. I sure hope he's able to make it without falling into the lasers. This mineshaft will be the final stretch before before Milo reaches the official vault where I will keep my treasure inside. If you want to transform this vault and spawn lava golems inside, comment lava in three, two, one. Whoa, you totally did it. This mineshaft is way more epic than before. Now we just need to build the final vault room and our volcano house will be complete. We need to make the final vault room out of gold. It only needs to be this big because there is only one item we need to put inside this thing. Milo is going to totally love this, at least if he manages to make it this far. If Milo does not reach the end of this, he will not see the item we will hide for him. This is Bib Bob, Milo's silverfish plushie. He's actually had it ever 
since he was a little birdie. Yeah, he's totally gonna love this surprise. At the end here, we can also add a bunch of diamonds to this chest, just to give Milo a really big reward if he manages to make it this far. Milo, the time is now up, so we have to go through each other's volcano houses. Oh yeah, boy, let's see if you can get through mine. I don't think you'll be able to. Whoa, your volcano house is looking pretty interesting, Milo. Hey, it's pretty short too. And wait a minute, Milo, I thought it was gonna be hard to get inside this thing. Is this just the entrance here? Yeah, well, I was meant to be hidden, but I guess you found it really easy. Milo, this isn't hidden. It's wide out in the open. And whoa, is this a crazy lava parkour zone? Yep, and you have to get up. I would never cheat, Milo. Okay, I'm gonna make my way across here and hang on a minute. Is it cheating if I just jump right down to the bottom from here, Milo? Yeah, if you do that, I'm pushing you into the lava. Okay, don't do that. Do not push me into the lava, please. I'll play fair and square. I won't try to go all the way to the bottom without going through the right way. That's right, Chip. Let's see if you can do it. I really struggled to get through here when I was testing it. Oh, uh, I don't know why though, Milo. I just walked through that in a breeze. Uh not everybody can be as much of a pro as I am. Look, this lava parkour is so fun for me. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're pretty good at it, but at least I put a really hard challenge over at the end. Really? Uh-oh, I'm a little worried. I really hope I can make it through this one easy. Yeah, look, there's so many buttons! Hey, is this a find the button room? Oh no, this is gonna be really hard. Yeah, it's gonna waste all your time! No way! I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can, and my time will not be wasted, Milo. I am on a one-track mission, and that is to find my way into the next room. Yeah, well, you're already failing. Milo, I'm already pressing all these buttons. I've actually already pressed every button on three out of the six walls. Yeah, well, you've missed one of them! What? Milo, I missed one? How is that even possible? Hmm, maybe there's a wall I've totally forgotten. Hey, I haven't been pressing the ones on this wall. Maybe these do something? <laughs> Whoa, they did do something. They opened up this door here and wait a minute, Milo, is this already the end vault? Oh uh, yeah, this is all I had time for. Milo, your ceiling is dripping. This is not a very secure vault. Well, a little birdie's gotta do what he can do, all right? Okay, I'm so excited to find out what's inside here and oh, hey, is this my lucky underwear? How did you get this, Milo? I basically never take this off. I stole it while you were sleeping. <laughs> Milo! And wait a minute, what's this? Why is there dried kelp in here? Just a snack for the road. Oh, thanks, Milo. That's actually really nice. Well, I'm gonna wear my lucky underwear while you go through my volcano now. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Whoa, this volcano is huge, Chip! Yeah, you know that already, Milo. You tried to break into the side here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that hole is no longer the way to get inside this volcano, though, Milo. You are gonna need to climb your way up to the very top. The very top? Oh, that's gonna take me forever! Alright, I better get started then. Yeah, you totally better. And make sure you do not fall into the lava. The lava will do lots of damage to you, Milo, and you will not be able to recover. Oh, if the lava touches me, I'll just punch it back. Milo, wouldn't punching lava make you covered more in lava? I think that would be a bad idea. Well, Okay, I think you might find that won't work, but you're making your way up this volcano really well. Yeah, I'm actually really good at climbing mountains. Yeah, Milo, you totally are, but are you good at finding the secret way inside and- Oh no! Milo, you fell in the lava! That really hurt me! Yeah, you better make sure you are not on too low health. In order to get to the next section, you're gonna need to touch a little bit more lava than just that. What is that? Yeah, normally that would be true, but up the top here, you actually need to jump inside the lava to make it into the volcano. Yeah, right, buddy. I'm not jumping into the lava. You just want to kill me. No, I don't, Milo. If you don't jump into the lava, you will not complete my volcano base, and you will totally lose. All right, fine. I'll jump in. But if I burn to a crisp, I'm going to be real angry at you, buddy. Okay, Milo. All right. Whoa, Milo, you've made it. Look, you're in the water section, but be careful. You're about to reach the dropper. Yeah, well, I was on pretty low health, 
Yes, I you know. How many hearts do you have left now, Milo? Oh, I've healed them back, but I was on like two. What? That's crazy. You need to make sure you do not take any more damage going down this dropper. Otherwise, you are toast. Yeah, well, I'll try my best and... Hey, look, I made that one real easy. Milo, come on. You can't be taking more damage like this. If you do, you won't make it to the bottom. What do I do here? This is confusing me. Yeah, this is a pretty cool contraption I made myself. You're going to need to make it past without getting pushed into the lava by the fans. All right, I'm going to jump. Milo knows just how to do this one. Let's go and... Hey, why am I in the lava? Oh no, Milo! You are not meant to fall into the lava. You need to jump on these fans that are blowing way slower than the other ones are. Aw, that's silly. Alright, I guess I'll do it and... Whoa, whoa, I'm going! Milo, you got smacked by the spinning contraptions. You cannot let that happen again. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, I guess I gotta take this a little bit more slow. Where can I drop that's gonna be safe for me? Well, some of the corners are a lot safer than most of the blocks, Milo. Okay. Try the corner then. Let's do a big Milo jump and whoa, I'm really making it. Hey! Wow, good job, Milo. You made it all the way to the bottom and you didn't even get caught in my windy tornado circle. Oh yeah, boy. Let the pros do this thing. Yeah, can you read this sign, Milo? If you're a pro, then you totally will be able to. Do it hop fry. Do it hop fry. No, Milo, that's not what it says. It says go in here first. Uh Read. Yeah, I wish you could read too, Milo. But hey, look, you're in here already. I think you might want to look around this room. I'm sure there's lots of things you'll need to find in here. Yeah, like snacks in the cooler boxes, maybe. Uh, yeah, there are no snacks in these cooler boxes. Sorry, Milo. Oh, that's really sad for me. Yeah, but there are lots of other secrets that you probably will want to find. Well, I'm gonna look really hard, but I still haven't found anything. Yeah, you totally haven't. This is pretty sad, Milo. Maybe you should try looking in places that are not chests. Uh, like the drawers? No, Milo, not drawers either. Well, if it's not in any of these things, I guess I gotta go real detective mode. Yeah, you totally do. Oh, Milo, you should keep going up there. I'm sure you'll find something really great. Yeah, I'm gonna find something really great and... Hey, Chip, this is nothing nice. Yeah, you're in jail now, Milo. How funny is that? Not very funny at all. Yeah, maybe you should look around these orange coolers. I'm sure there's something really useful for you in them. Well, here's another cage, and I bet there's actually something in this one. Nope, this is just another cage to trap you in, Milo. Wait, Chip, I can't get out of this one. Help me, help me. Oh, no, Milo. That was not the right way to go. Yeah, and that was really rude, but... I have another idea of what I could do. What is your idea, Milo? Well, I could look in this little hole here because I bet there's something crazy. Uh, yeah, there's something crazy. It's the void. Why am I in the void? I've had enough of your silly pranks. I'm just going straight into this room. This is perfect. Milo is going into the fake would you rather section. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see this. Yep, Milo, this is definitely a great choice. Yeah. I really like this channel. It's much funnier than your silly pranks. Milo, the TV is off. Yeah, exactly. Hey, that was pretty mean. Hmm, I think you'll find something in here that is not the TV that you might find pretty interesting. Really? Like what? I don't know. You'll have to look and find for yourself, Milo. Well, maybe it's in the painting. Aw, it's not letting me through. No, it is not in the painting, and it's not in that one either. Hey, what's this? This is a special section. Why don't you try going through it, Milo? Would you bother? What does that mean? No, Milo. It says, would you rather? You have to pick between these two answers and the other ones as well. If you pick the wrong one, you fall into lava. But if you pick the right one, you go on through. Well, that sounds very easy. I know exactly what to choose. Would you rather have a pet dog or have a pet rock? Oh, Chip, you know just what I'm gonna choose. Whoa, Milo, you might have picked the right one. I guess we'll see. Why? Why am I burning? Because that was the wrong answer, Milo. You don't need a pet rock. The answer was have a pet dog. But I love pet rocks. I have 40. What? 40 pet rocks? Milo, are you just talking about a block of gravel? No, they're all rocks. They're big and awesome. Oh, okay, Milo. Well, you still need to answer these next questions. What you be the best runner or be the best singer? Well, Chip, I know the obvious answer. What's the obvious answer, Milo? I want to be the best runner so I can zoom around like a cool guy. 
Okay, you actually picked the right one this time. Good job, Milo. There's only one question left. Would you rather work as a toast inspector or work as a fireman? No, I'd want to work as a fireman. I don't want to hang out with fire. I'd much rather hang out with toast. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Milo, why would you pick toast inspector? Being a fireman is awesome. Yeah. Okay, now you get to see what's in this chest. Whoa, is this the final surprise? Yeah, maybe. Why don't you open it and find out? Uh-huh. Got you, Milo. Oh, Chip, I'm so mad. Yeah, this was actually a fake chest. You need to go all the way back and figure out exactly where you really need to go. This is really annoying. I'm very grumpy at you. Hey, don't be grumpy, Milo. You just need to figure out where you really had to go this whole time. Well, I guess it was into room, obviously. Yeah, look at this room, though, Milo. It's covered in fire. Yeah, whatever. Maybe I'd care if I was a fireman. Hey, true. I guess firemen would definitely put out all the fire in this room. I guess it's good you want to be a toast inspector. Well, Chip, what am I meant to do in here? You need to find the way to the next room. It is hidden somewhere in here. Well, this room looks very simple. I don't see any mysterious stuff. Really? You don't see anything mysterious with all these orange candles and fire and fire on the ceiling and lava windows? Yeah, that looks pretty normal to me. What? Milo, maybe you should be a fireman. A fireman would definitely know that this is not normal. Yeah. Oh, no, Milo, you should not be getting burnt. And hey, don't destroy my carpets. But you said for me to look for clothes. True, but don't make a mess. This is still my bedroom after all. Hey, this is kind of weird. Hmm, I'm impressed that you spotted that. Why don't you try going through? All right, I'm going to go through. Hey, I didn't even get burned. No, you didn't. Good job, Milo. That was fake lava. Oh, yeah, boy, fake. One thing that is not fake, though, is this staircase. You need to go all the way down and face the insanely difficult thing at the very end. Oh, uh, let's go. I'm really gonna win this. No way, Milo. You're already taking so long, and you've died loads of times. These final rooms will definitely make you have to try very hard. What? This is a laser parkour room. It is so difficult. I do not think it's even possible, and you're going to be the test subject. Okay, I'm very, very nervous. I'm going to try my best. Good luck, Milo. I think you can do it. Okay, let's jump in. Hey, I made the first one. Wow, good job, Milo. Keep going. You got this. Oh, yeah, we made the second one. I'm feeling real confident. Yeah, not for long, though, Milo. These lasers do lots of damage, so you better make sure you do not accidentally touch one. Well, I'm not going to. I don't feel like getting hot again today. That's so smart, Milo. You just have to make sure you really stick to it. Do not touch a single one of the lasers. Oh, no. Ice is really slippery. Yeah, ice is totally slippery. No worries, though, Milo. You'll be able to get across fine. I just know it. Yeah, look, I'm doing a really good job. Yeah, you totally are. I am very impressed, Milo. But how do I get across to you actually almost had it, Milo. Come on, it is not this way. You need to try going around. Well, here we go. I just went around. Good job, Milo. That is the way that you get through. Oh, yeah. This is looking up for me. I'm very impressed. Come on, you got this. You're almost at the end. Oh, well, we got a little tight for walk. Luckily, I'm pro at this. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be pro at what's next, though, Milo. It's going to be very difficult. <laughs> Oh, we will see, Milo. You actually have to boat across all these other boats, Milo, and not go into the lasers. Hey, they're kind of slippery. This is not good. Yeah, they are slippery. Come on, I know you can make it. Hey, I really did it. Now, in order to reach the end, you need to battle through all of these lava golems. Oh, Chip, I don't think I'm strong enough for that. You'll have to find a way to craft something, Milo, but how are you going to do that without breaking some blocks? Oh, I can break this. That'd be really helpful because I'm a crafting pro. Yeah, but Milo, the blocks are falling next to the golem. Oh, this is bad. And when I break this, he might be able to get through. Yeah, he might. You're going to need to make sure you do not let him through, Milo. Yeah, Joe, he's really hitting me. Oh, they're all hitting me now. Maybe you can lure them out into the lasers. Yeah. Wait, Milo, they can't get past these fences. Hmm, I wonder if this could help you at all. Yeah, I probably can, because I've already made a craft.
crafting table. Whoa, yeah. good job, Milo. Come on, you can go through. Uh, you got this. All right, I'm going to put the crafting table down and go get some more blocks for a sword. Good idea, Milo. You're so close. Yeah, these guys keep hitting me so I can't break the blocks. Whoa, Milo, you're getting it, but I bet you're running out of health. Yeah. Oh no, Milo, one of these blocks fell and it landed on me. Here, I'll throw this one to you. Thanks, Chip, that's really nice. Now I can make some sticks. Whoa, you only have one step left. You just need to mine one more piece of oak planks and then you'll be good. All right, let's run for it. Hey, Bozos, you can't get Milo because he's awesome. Oh, Milo, be careful. You got this. Come on, just mine it and you can craft the sword to take them all down. Hey! Yeah, you did. Come on, Milo. You just need to beat them now. All right, I'm crafting my sword. If I remember correctly, this is how you do it. Um, actually, no, it's not. Milo, have you forgotten how to craft? Yeah, I think I did, but hey, look! Milo's got a sword! Yeah, they're burning me! Oh, wow. I guess when you attack them, you take fire damage. Yeah, they're really mean, these guys. I had to deal with them earlier, and hey, they just melted! Yeah, these are lava golems made out of magma blocks, so they split just like a magma cube would. Uh-huh, that guy got stuck in a boat. Yeah, he did, but you better get him out of there just in case you need to use the boat again. Yeah, I actually am going to use the boat. I'm going to trap the other golem in it. Oh, that's a great idea, Milo. Just don't take so much damage. Otherwise, you might die and never make it to the end. No, I'll be really fine. I'm confident. Milo, maybe instead of pushing the boat into him, you can just break the fences so he tries to walk over. Yeah, that's true, but the fences are really annoying me, and I hate breaking fences. Yeah, that's fair, but wait a minute. He isn't getting in the boat. This is crazy, Milo. I don't think your plan is working. Yeah, why isn't he getting in the boat? Yeah, he's really punching me! You better make sure he does not find his way to you, Milo. If I stand back here, I can really hit him like this, and... And he totally split and both of the babies got caught in the boat. That's amazing, Milo. Your plan's totally working. Even though they're burning me, I pretty much got this under wraps. Whoa, do you want some dried kelp to heal a lot of your health? Yeah, please. Thanks for the dried kelp, Milo, but I will not be needing it anymore. You can totally have it. Okay, well, my sword's nearly broken, so that's some bad news. Oh, no. Really, Milo? This is terrible. You just need to try and get the final few hits on this last magma golem. Right. Oh, Milo, that was a really soft one. Come on, you got this. Well, maybe if I just break this block. Yeah, he just punched me. Oh, no, Milo, I don't think you can take many more hits from them. You better attack them without letting them hit you back. Yeah, but I'm burning whenever I punch them. Oh, no, come on, Milo, just don't let them take out your sword. You got this. There is one golem left before you reach the final vault. Oh. Oh, goodness. Milo, did your sword just break? Yeah! Oh, no! Maybe you can use the boat to lure them back out into the lasers. Ha <laughs> ha! They just got put into the boat like idiots! Yeah, they totally did. Milo, you now have a clear path to the final vault. Wow, I really did it! Oh, my gosh! Wait a second, is this my teddy? Yeah, it totally is, Milo. You found your teddy. Oh, I really missed him, and I bet we gotta check what's in this chest. Holy moly, there's so many diamonds! Yeah, there totally is a bunch of diamonds. Oh yeah, this is so cool. I can't believe you made it. I'm so happy we both got our amazing things. I'm so rich! Even though we both got so many cool things, you took so long to beat my volcano house, and you died a bunch of times, so I definitely won this challenge. Ah!